Hello everyone, my name is Annika Reinke and I would like to present our work on common limitations of performance metrics and biomedical image analysis. When developing your algorithm, the model architecture, training and validation go hand in hand. And for the validation step, you have to choose your performance measures from a huge pool of metrics. And this is definitely not straightforward because every metric has several strengths but also weaknesses. Assume that you would like to classify patients into sick and healthy. But you only have very rare cases of the healthy class in your dataset. In this case, you shouldn't use metrics like the accuracy that are not designed to handle um, imbalanced datasets. For segmentation, the dye similarity coefficient is the most frequently used metric, but it also has several drawbacks. If you want to segment very, very tiny structures such as brain lesion, a single pixel difference will already lead to a huge difference in the metric values, and this is often not desired. Although these and other limitations are known in the literature, researchers are requesting guidelines on how to choose the best metric for a specific problem. This is why we are currently conducting a Delphi process with the goal of finding best practice recommendations for metrics in biomedical image analysis. So a small group of Delphi coordinators is designing a couple of questionnaires that is completed by a Delphi expert panel with researchers from all over the world. And with their feedback and the iterative nature of the Delphi process, we are aiming to find a consensus decision on the best practice recommendations. As the world of image analysis and biomedicine is huge, we decided to first focus on tasks that can be interpreted as classification. And this, of course, comprises whole image classification, but also things like object detection in which we're categorizing different objects and semantic and instant segmentation um, that can be interpreted as pixel level classification. Here you see an overview of the process. We're starting with a driving biomedical question, so the problem that you want to tackle. And a task mapping will lead you to the correct image processing task. You may find this step may sound straightforward, but it's definitely not and it's done incorrect often by researchers, which will lead to improper metrics and wrong validation in the end. So each task has a designated metric pool. Based on this and problem characteristics from the driving biomedical question, the metric mapping will in the end recommend a list of metrics with a strength and weaknesses profile. The task metric mapping will ask you different questions. For example, uh, do you have global or local labels? If local, are you interested in pixels or objects? Do you know the exact contour? All these things will then lead you to the correct image processing task. Having now the right image processing task, how can we choose the best metrics? So this also, again, depends on the driving biomedical question and related problem characteristics. In segmentation, for example, you often face um, structures of variable shapes. And in this case, you shouldn't use metrics um, for that measure the overlap, like the IOU or the dice. They're just not designed to handle these properties. And for real-time validation, you also need to consider the memory consumption and compute time. And this may also exclude some of the metrics. Furthermore, many metrics are mathematically related. And if you're using multiple metrics for validation, and we highly recommend you to do this, you shouldn't use metrics that are very similar. For example, the dice and the IOU um, measure the same properties, are very similar in formulas, and will lead to the exact same ranking. So they are not adding any additional value and information to your validation step. We are currently working on um, such a matrix, finding metri metrics that are very similar or dissimilar and grouping them into clusters. When you then uh, want to measure different properties for your driving biomedical questions, you can pick metrics from different clusters and then avoid using similar metrics. We're currently not at the end of the whole process. In the final steps, we will work on the concrete recommendations for common problems of biomedical image analysis, giving you a list of metrics that fit this problem and telling you why or why not you shouldn't this use this or metric, use this or that metric. And finally, uh, in parallel, we are also working on a dynamic preprint on common limitations of image processing metrics um, that currently covers um, different um, 
yeah, problems of matrix and segmentation. But we would like to extend it also to uh, classification and detection. So if you're aware of limitations, we're happy to incorporate you as co-author for substantial contribution or drafts of different images. And with this, I would like to thank my team and the collaborators, and of course you for listening to my presentation. Thank you.